Okay guys, so we have returned to work at this old house. And let's take a look and see what's going on inside. Hey guys, let's see what's happened so far. There's been some progress. Let's take a look. Hey honey, what you doing? Hey dear. Looks like there's progress made. Shouldn't I start off with how Michael Smith seems as Australian? Yes, honey, it's reporting. Uh, I'm Michael Smith from CMS Construction and today we're going to put a faucet and, and you see we got the farm sink, the undermount farm sink installed and I have this drilled out on the hole oh. for the faucet. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to go get us a shop back and everything cleaned up and then we're going to see what it looks like. Okay, let's take a look under there. Okay. So we have the faucet right here that we are going to install in the farm sink over here. And we're gonna install this. And if you see, we actually have the um, Formica installed throughout the kitchen. And over here is the trash compactor going here. We have a trash compactor going over there and a nine inch cabinet. So we're gonna get another cabinet down there. And then at the top of these cabinets, we're going to install crown molding. So when we get to that step, I'll do a new video on the installation. And that's just what it's looking like today. We drilled a hole to install the faucet here, which is gonna be a single. <laughs> It ain't gonna have the plate going across it. And what I want, I'm not gonna install it today, but we'll let you have a look at it. But what I wanna talk to you about it is, if you're gonna do a countertop like this, you need to have caulking silicone or something that goes around the hole and be generous with it so that it waterproofs the plywood where the faucet is. Because it sits on top of this, if water gets on there, it could run back. So we're gonna put the faucet in and, and, and give it a, Look. It has two ears that go here in the plastic piece to the metal piece as well. And again, you're gonna add caulk to the edge of that. And that's where she goes. Okay. And another thing that you need to look for when, you, when, when doing a countertop is you need to look at your edges and make sure that they're fairly well. In an older house that's out of square, they could be out a little, but as long as they look proper because it's not perfect square. Okay. <laughs> so look at your edges. <laughs> I know that. <clears throat> Go around here to this curve here. Okay, boss. So we're taking a look at the edges. Okay. Looks good, looks good. Now there will be a, a backsplash I will make and put back here. But for this part, it was all about the undermount farm sink with a Formica countertop, and I think it looks amazing. So there you go. Is that it? And when are you gonna install the crown molding uh, on top? Soon. Soon? soon? Yeah. So soon. we'll have a crown molding video soon? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, a lot of work did go into these guys, but uh, I think I did a great job. Here's the seam she needs to look at. Oh yeah, the seam. Make scene. sure that this seam looks good as well. Uh, you want to make sure that uh, you do a good job. Okay. Uh, a lot of filing went into it. But I think it looks good. 
Looks good, looks good. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> okay, guys, so that completes this, um, I guess this is part three of the Formica countertop farm sink, Formica farm sink, um, undermount. Is it the undermount farm sink? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the undermount farm sink with the Formica countertops. So that completes our third video. Yeah, the internet says that you can't, you can't do an undermount sink, that you have to get an overmount sink. Okay. But if you build them, you can do an undermount sink. And the square edges, I, a lot of people are going with the square cabinets now. So the square edges, I, I believe, look, you know, real nice with it. So. Uh, okay, so how you. would you go about building the support for the farm sink? What, what kind of material did you use for the undermount? Uh, you can under go to the uh, first video. Okay. That my wife posted. Uh, yes. That uh, I framed, put a frame in here and screwed it to the cabinet itself. And I got lucky, I got some fillers here because again, the walls was out of square. So we wanted to make sure we had fillers in and it didn't look like you'd have much room for a cabinet anyway, but mm -hmm. we made sure they were fillers so that we could adjust anything. So we, we got a frame and I was able to put screws this way and there's, and there's a, this was built for a thing. So there's also shims under here, but I highly don't. Shims, yeah, okay. I highly recommend that you do a frame and shims because this thing's heavy. And, and you put how much does it usually that? weigh? How yeah. much is that? A hundred pounds, I, you think? I'd say I don't know, but it's heavy. So, I don't know. Can you sit on it? Oh, yeah. Go on, it. Up, go on and pop up, go on and pop up on that. But you're, we're gonna do a silicone based caulking to do these edges here, okay? So there'll be no water going inside here, okay? You know, we'll do this crack and this crack. Okay, so the cracks, let me get closer on that. So the cracks down below here, you're gonna do the silicone. Okay, sounds good, sounds good. Again, you guys, if you have any questions or comments, let us know. And if you have any interest in any other, what construction, you know, maybe ideas or. My husband's gonna also do a door install. I'll walk you guys over here. But we're gonna get a new door. When's the door coming in? A few days? Whenever, whenever I get <clears throat> So we're actually going to show you guys how to do a door install in another video as well. So stay tuned and we'll see you guys soon. Oh, oh, oh. one more thing. <laughs> there there is no maintenance on the mica. Okay. Now, granted, you have to seal. Marble, <clears throat> you have to seal every two years. The only thing that maybe, you know, as far as to take <clears throat> care of is quartz. Quartz is very, okay. very, but it's expensive. It's I expensive. Have, but uh, granted, I'm not saying none of it's nice. I'm saying that this is low maintenance. And it's cheaper. And it's cheaper. So if you're, you're it on a less tight. It's work for less money. So, so if you're on a tight budget, again, you can have something that resembles marble and you will, you will still get a really good looking kitchen. So I would be satisfied with this 100%. So if you're saving money and you don't have the money for granite, marble, and all that more expensive stuff, this again is your best option. Okay, so we'll close out this video again. Give them your phone number if they want to reach you. No? Just comment. You guys comment if you have any um, questions or would like to see any additional videos. Bye.